Good one. Somewhere in the Hang on. Okay, there he is there. Light him up, Luke. Got him. Good shot, mate. Just fired a shot on a rabbit. We're just trying to find him. So this little device that you carry in your pocket and clip to your phone could be very handy when we go to look for trying to find the thing. your left heaps. About there. About there. To the right a bit. Got him. Nice shot. Nice shot. So this is what we were using um, the other night with that uh, we spotlighting. So it's a small, it was obviously the phone, and then this is the little thermal attachment that goes into the Type-C for this particular phone, but they come in all the other uh, fittings as well. Um, so that's the device set up. So then you throw your phone into a, a nifty little thermal camera that uh, is really quite effective as you can see. There were some things there on that uh, particular hunt that where Luke could see the, the rabbit, but I couldn't see it um, looking through the scope, um, even with a really good torch. So, um, yeah, the thermal is certainly an effective little thing. So this is what it looks like in the box. So we were using just the little thermal monocular, the little thermal attachment, which comes in this little neat little package. But then it's also got an adapter where you can hold your phone with a really neat handle and the camera goes in the front and I'll set that up in a minute so you can have a look. Um, which would be just ideal and I think um, the next time Put and I are out with it for a pig hunt um, we'll give this a go because not, you know anyone that's tried to look through their thermal rifle sight for any length of time, you know, even though you might have a light little rifle you hold it up there for a while just looking through and, and sweeping around just checking every five and ten minutes it soon gets quite heavy whereas this thing could be really handy um, just hold it up have a quick look around and leave the thermals you know in the rack until you're ready to till something comes along and you're ready to shoot so this is it uh, all set up it only takes a couple of seconds obviously to put your your phone in the holder You've got a nice little easy grip handle that you can hang on to. 
and then the little thermal camera sits in the front there and then you've just got your normal phone so that can sit there, it's also got a little tripod thread so you can sit it up, it's easy to hold, have a quick look around very neat, so you're used for this next on the next hunt So when we started using this the other night, we were the, the first intent was to just use the white light, but it soon became apparent that this was far better at finding rabbits um, than the white light was. Um, and we ended up using it to find them and then white light to shoot. So it's a great way to hunt. You could you're not disturbing the game, flashing around the, the light all the time looking for looking for animals, especially if you've got you know foxes and that sort of stuff that have become a little bit uh, shy of light. You can find them with this, they don't know you're there, they don't know that you can see them and then you can turn the white light on, you know, fire your shot, turn it off again, um, and it's all done. It's got great potential, it really has. So you can see some of the the screens you can record with the, uh, with the, obviously with the camera as well, it's got all the settings down the left hand side. You can look at the, um, the different uh, settings that the machine has. So even red hot there, you can see those kangaroos out there about uh, 150, 200 metres away. So that's um, like a red hot type setup. And white hot. I always find black hot's best to find, but um, when I'm shooting with the other right, other thing, I always like to shoot on white hot. You can see there, that this is what I mean by black hot. It's much better to find something with you can see those kangaroos really quite easily. It's a fairly neat little setup. Easy to hold. Lots of features. You can put a little put a little crosshair on it as well. So as well as the um, the crosshair, you've got like a little hotspot finder type program as well. see the, the little, it's trying to find a, and it's certainly fixated on those roos over there. You can see the little dot. It's really quite handy. So for a device that's simple as it is, doesn't have a battery, you can hook it up to your phone, type C, you know, you can take it out and just, you know, have it sitting there on black or even white hot, um, which might be less light against your face, and you're sitting there on a on a on a water hole or something, waiting for pigs or something like that to come down. Um, this would be perfect. 